Hi, this is James with James Roney Skaters or freemagneticenergy.info. Hi everybody. I know it's been quite a while since you've all seen any of my videos and many of my videos, if not nearly all of them, have finally been taken down off of YouTube. Even the many of the you who copied my videos and reposted them, and of course thank you, many of those have also been finally been taken down off of YouTube. Um, let me explain to you what has happened here because I have literally have gotten way past 20,000 plus emails. I, I can't even read them all. All I see is the little number in the left window tells me how many emails I've got. Out of all the emails I have read, I've only got one negative one. All the other ones have been incredible support. May have written me questions and I just can't answer them all and I'm sorry. So if you've written me, maybe one day or one year, how long it takes, I'll get back to your letter. Uh, but anyway, I don't have a staff to help me with, with all this email. But let me get to you why I'm bringing this video. But first let me t throw in one last thing here. Uh, it turns out that YouTube was not the one taking down the videos. It turns out that there was a user, and still is the user, on YouTube. It goes by the name of Larry Lick. That's Larry Lick. Let me spell that for you. L-A-R-R-Y L L I X, all lower cases. Larry Lick. L L I X is the last name. Larry Lick. Now, what he does, he's got a little gang member there and friends, and they network together. And what they do, any videos, any videos at all, has anything to do with magnetism, which is strictly and only magnets trying to make uh, a magnetic motor, which he calls perpetual motion, which it is not because magnets wear out. They either got to be re-energized. Or, or replaced. So this is not perpetual energy. But regardless, he attacks these videos as perpetual energy devices and anything that has anything to do with magnets and only magnets trying to make a motor, he automatically flags the video falsely. Once somebody flags a video enough times falsely, then YouTube's abuse automation reporting program automatically suspends that video. Then then his little members will gang up on another video of yours and then they do the same thing. Once you have two videos that have been flagged, what happens is is that YouTube suspends your account. Now a lot of times what YouTube will do is they close it for six months but during, and then they'll let you have it back. What happens is during that six months if you have more than two videos up they attack video number three and video number four and during this time YouTube's abuse automated reporting system automatically flags those videos, I mean suspends those videos and now it becomes a third violation and then YouTube's automation just closes your account uh, and then you lose your account. This is what's been going on. So uh, Larry Lick and his friends and he's got a list of cyber friends. I mean I've actually made a list. You can find his list and his address where he's actually at on YouTube and he's also used the same name on other uh, video communities where he's doing the same thing and uh, with other people. Uh, you can go to freemagneticenergy.info and on the home page down toward the bottom you see the word cyber gangs and then click on that and it'll take you to an article that tells you more about what I'm saying and then there will be a little list will say cyber gangs and there will give you the list of him and all of his little buddies and if you have any send them to me um, just post them here on this channel or who knows where this video has ended up now because many people copy my videos and post them elsewhere but the original origin of the posting of this video will be on YouTube and if it ends up somewhere else who cares um, just write me at freemagneticenergy at gmail.com it's freemagneticenergy at gmail.com okay now here we go this is why I'm making this video this is so cool so strange so bizarre that it may have the potential to really make uh, potentially make a magnetic motor run itself without any additional assist and here's why as you all know from the past here uh, this is a contoured magnetic runway plate from here what it does is that there's a gap of about four inches and as I move my hand around the gap gets narrower and narrower and narrower to the point where my three fingers now must one of them must be taken out now I'm down to two fingers and as we keep turning here you'll see that now my two fingers barely fit through this gap right here at the end so normally this powerful magnet here which is a neodymium, mag neodymium magnet uh, four inches by two inches by one half inch cross uh, it is uh, magnetically uh, charged to the face so this is north and you should spin this around here it is south Okay, and what I'm doing here is I'm using this aluminum foil tape to hold this magnet back from being pulled over and suddenly being attracted to this piece of steel, which you would think would happen here, right? Wrong! That's what's so bizarre here. Why isn't this magnet attracted to the steel? Okay, as you can see, 
here's a magnet in my hand, and when I use this little magnet, hey, it's attracted to the steel, right? Okay, but when we take this big magnet, you would think that as this gap gets narrower and narrower and the metal gets closer and closer, that this magnet, like my other videos revealed, that this magnet wants to get closer and closer to the point where this magnet finds the ends of the steel, right? Wrong. Dead wrong. This is so bizarre. Not only does it not want to find the end of this, and let me show you, there's nothing going on back here. There are no magnets, nothing hidden here. Under the table, you won't see any magnets, but underneath here, that's just one of the screws that holds the table together, whatever have you not. And what's happening here is that it's repelled from the edge of this. So if I push this in a little bit, it, whoops, I push this in just a little bit, it wants to bounce back. But I had to do it so lightly, because otherwise it goes all the way through. But if I try to push this somewhat briskly, kind of hard this way, it balances back. It does not want to come through. Look at that. Here. I'm going to do a little harder. Eventually it'll make it through. Whoa, it still didn't make it through. Oh, it still didn't make it through. You see, it takes a whole lot of energy, 10, 12 times, maybe 20 times the amount of energy pushing the magnet this way than it does to get it to go that way. Very little and it goes right on through. But however, it makes no sense. Why isn't this magnet attracted to this metal here? Normally in all my other experiments, the magnet has always been attracted to the absolute end of the metal, and then it just locks in to the closest point and just sits there and rocks back and forth until it finally stops. It's not doing it this time. In fact, I'll just let go over here with my hand. I'll show you a full shot here. Let me get out of the way. Show you the full wheel here, and you'll see it just, it just uh, powers away from there. Look how far it goes. So my, my homework for you, because I don't have time to do this, is, is this. This is what I'm going to propose to you. As you see, this is a, a curved piece of steel. This used to be a stove pipe for a wood stove, an exhaust pipe. And what I've done is just opened up the pipe and I've got it cut to about, I guess, seven or eight inches tall. And I want to do is cut sections out of this and just make it like four or five inch section here. And then repeat this pattern where it's about two inches here and then it moves away maybe two and a half inches by about here and and then stop it and then repeat this so this way will this magnet go from here and leapfrog to the next one and then leapfrog to the next one and to the next one i have no idea but this is just so bizarre so for all of you all who are this, these total absolute magnetic nuts like me who are just fascinated by magnets and this potential possibility of creating a magnetic motor which is not perpetual energy because or motion because magnets have to be re, re, either recharged or replaced but they do wear out eventually with time this larry lick guy uh mr butthole thinks all of this here is uh 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 perpetual motion it's not so i'm not making any such claims that's not what this is about so anyway, long short of it all is, look at this. It takes very, very little energy to get this to go that way. Ooh, there you go. A feather touch. I mean, if I had a feather, I could have pushed it through. But if I have a feather on this side hitting these, I would never get it through. But look at that. Even with that force, look how hard I'm pushing that. Ooh, it did make it through that time. But still, whatever the case may be, this is absolutely fascinating. Why isn't this magnet attracted to the end of this steel like it normally is in all my other videos? I think what's going on has something to do with diomagnetics. Whatever the case may be, that's beside the point. I do have magnetic film to put up here, but I'm short on time, and I just don't have the time for this because I've got major research going on at freemagneticenergy.info that takes us to a whole new level, a whole new concept based upon Tesla's work way back in the 1890s, and uh, also uh, uh, Joseph Newman, who kind of stole, not kind of, just outright did, stole the technology and understanding away from Tesla from the 1899-1900 Colorado Spring experiments, which was mostly static electricity, which, which was th those experiments. Um, but Tesla had some fascinating ideas and understandings about magnetics and motors. And, of course, you know, he, he created the dy dynamo motors that now give us electricity up at Niagara Falls that we still use this very day. I don't know if the original ones are still there or not, but whatever the case may be, that man is fascinated. Anyway, so what's going on here is beyond me. I want to close by saying um, thank you for all the, the incredible amount of letters I've been getting. Uh, like I said, I, I have over 20,000 letters there. I can't respond to them all. The new email address I just gave you at freemagneticenergy at gmail 
a lot of people don't have that email address yet. Of course, now you do, so soon I'll get slammed there as well. Please don't send me any spam. With that thought in mind, let me let you go. This is James Wayne Stater signing out for free, magneticenergy.info.